Welcome to episode two of the Audio and Fundamentals course. Today we're going to talk about how to get between the audio worlds, the domains, and look at the definition and some examples of sound waves. So as you might remember from the previous episode, there's three worlds or domains of sound. There is the acoustic domain, acoustic world, the analog world, and the digital world. There are specific paths between the three audio domains or audio worlds. Let's take a closer look at that. Sound starts in the acoustic world where sound is waves of air pressure. That's where our ears live and that's where most instruments do their job. In order to move between the worlds, you need to use devices that can get sound from one to the other. Let's start by going from the acoustic world all the way to the digital world and then back again. So let's say you were recording a guitar. A microphone translates sound from the acoustic world into the analog world where the sound is now represented by waves of electrical current in roughly the same shape that they took in the acoustic world as waves of air pressure. Now that you've got the sound in the analog world, if you're using analog recording equipment, you would record it to a magnetic tape or use a mixer to run into an amplifier and run it through a speaker for a live show, say. Or if you're recording digitally, the sound is only in the analog world for a brief moment just long enough for the voltage to reach the analog to digital converter. Now we get to the digital world where sound is represented by numbers, and in this world you can do a bunch of interesting things with the sound. But then to play it back, you need to run it through a digital to analog converter, which takes those numbers and translates them into voltages. And then that those voltages get fed into an amplifier, into a speaker, which moves air in the shape of that same wave, and then that arrives at your ear. Let's take a closer look at each of those three worlds and look at some terms and definitions. First of all, in general, no matter which domain, which world you're in, sound is always some kind of change over time. If there is no change, then you have silence. You don't have any sound at all. A small change creates a soft sound, and a large change creates a loud sound. In the acoustic world, Waves are air pressure changes over time. Air pressure, being the number of air molecules packed into a given space, changes, again, a small change creates a soft sound, a large change creates a loud sound, and it'll go both above and below the neutral point over time. For now, we're leaving some details out to simplify it. Sound does travel through things other than air, and we're just going to put that to the side for now. In the analog world, Waves are changes in a voltage over time. A good simplified definition of voltage would be the strength and the direction of electrical flow. Changes in this case mean that if the changes are small and it's a soft sound, the voltage only goes a little bit positive and a little bit negative. It stays close to zero volts. In a loud sound, it's going to swing quite a bit far positive and negative around zero and those changes happen over time. For now, we're leaving out several things. We're leaving out the way things are recorded. We're also leaving out different electrical levels used in the analog world. In the digital world, this is the most complex way that sound is represented. In the digital world, sound waves are represented by numeric snapshots of an analog wave over time. Let's look into that a little deeper. Numeric meaning that a sound in the digital world is really just a list of numbers. Something we're going to get into a lot of detail in a future episode is that rounding is inevitable when you're taking these numeric snapshots. Rounding numbers, like if it measures a little between 1 and 2, but a little bit closer to 2 than to 1, it's going to be rounded off to 2. Snapshots. That's a metaphor. The actual word for this is samples. Samples is a confusing word in audio because it's used in several different definitions. This specific definition means a sample is one single number, one single snapshot of an analog wave at one instant. And then, of course, over time. In the digital world, that gets more complicated because you need to keep track of how many samples per second you're taking of that analog wave. The digital world has lots and lots of details that we're leaving out for now. We're just going to start simple. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>